Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Stella. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the relaunch of my YouTube channel. Yeah. Hi everybody and welcome to episode number one of Steve Cockrell's Unedited Run Chat and this is the relaunch. Um, I've decided to do this again. Um, basically it's not just going to be about run chat, it's actually just going to be about life chat in general. Um, a lot of it is going to be about running. Uh, it's definitely one of my passions. Um, however, I'll be putting a lot of stuff to do with mental health in this as well um so the reason i stopped it before was that i had a massive mental health breakdown um pretty much cost me everything um but what i want to start documenting is how i've recovered how i'm making amends and i've just got my love for life back um so that's really really what i want to document um, I think that uh, it's important to air things like this because I do consider myself um, a success and it's taken me a lot to say that um, in the fact that I have recovered. Um, I do consider myself still to be a horrible person considering what I've done. Um, when I say I lost everything, um, I pretty much threw everything away. Um, I said for people that don't know I left my family um, looking to make amends um, so I've been living apart from my family for nearly a year now it's been 11 months um, but actually I'm going to be moving back on the 5th of June so I must be doing something right um, I've put in a lot of work um, there's a lot still to do, so I'm so pleased that I'm back. Yeah, um, look, what am I going to cover in these episodes? So yeah, I've talked about the running, I've talked about the mental health. Um, there is a lot that I can talk about. I mean, like I said, general life. Um, I love I love the Xbox. I'm playing F1 2020 at the moment. Um, I'm in season eight of a Ferrari career, um, which, um, yeah, it's mad. I mean, it's one of the worst cars on the grid, which, yeah, it's fantastic, really. Yeah, I'm just trying to build them back up. Um, my daughter's actually got running as well. Um, so I'm, I'm just enjoying running with her as well. And um yeah spending time with my wife um i have a massive massive new job as well so i have left tesco after well it'd been 13 years on and off um i have had a couple of jobs since then um but yeah i've i've left tesco i'm now working for lululemon um as an asset protection specialist so to many people that we as loss prevention um so yeah i think that there's a a lot that's changed. Um, this company has made a massive impact, so I will be talking about that in my next few episodes. Um, yeah, I think um, it's something that, um, like I said, life's really, really changed for me. So, um, yeah, I want to start documenting this. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, sorry guys, just had to have a bit of a break on that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start off by talking about running because uh, this is the unedited run chat. So um, I thought I'd just talk about how I am progressing with running. So I had a, I had a 
huge layoff. So from August to pretty much the start of January, um, I didn't want to run. Um, I was focusing on my recovery. Um, didn't have the will to run. Um, I wanted to repair things for my family. Um, running was the last thing on my mind. Um, lost a hell of a lot of fitness. So my first couple of runs back were very, very interesting. Um, yeah, um, partly encouraged by my work to get back running. Um, we're more or less paid to keep ourselves fit, which is fantastic. We have a, we have a fantastic benefits system at um, Lululemon, which I'll talk about later on. Um, but yeah, I think, um, you know, I've started running again, um, had a three week layoff due to illness and obviously having to look after um, my family because they got ill as well. So um, yeah, that, that was a bit of a period where I wasn't running, but actually generally on the whole, I've been running again. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually getting back in some races. Um, definitely got some things planned. So I've loosely committed to doing the Battersea Marathon, which is 10 laps around Battersea Park, which is going to be interesting. See how that one goes. Um, but it's just giving me something to focus on potentially. Um, it is a loose goal. Um, I'm not doing things as I was before. I'm not going to get obsessed with it. Um, you know, if things don't happen, things don't happen. Um, if I can't do a marathon, I'll do a half marathon or a 10K or something like that. doesn't really bother me. Um, but the fact that I'm out running and the fact that I want to actually look at stuff again on the TV. So I've got, got the London Marathon coming up in a couple of weeks. Manchester is coming up this week. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to things at the moment. Um yeah, other things I'm going to be covering. So obviously mental health I've talked about as well. Um, I'm going to be sharing a few bits and pieces going forward. Um, and then, um, yeah, just sharing my experience because uh, that's going to be a very hard thing to talk about. But I've been doing a lot of therapy sessions and I feel it's worked. I'm able to talk now. Um, it's been tough going um i'm able to talk to different people about it um i think it's accepting that people just don't generally want to talk about mental health all the time um it's knowing who you can talk to um and then we can then you can just go from there so yeah there's definitely a lot of things that i can um share with you on that um and then yeah just um i'm, I'm gonna be doing a training blog i'm going to do perhaps a every few days i'll do like a, a random post around how things are going at work how things are going in life so it's it's very much going to be a um take it as you leave it channel um it's not just gonna be me talking on this by the way um there's gonna be lots of me running there's gonna be lots of my family um lots of me out at work so um yeah you know it, this is just kind of like a prelude as to uh what's been happening um but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this a short video um i'm gonna have some clips at the end of this so just to show you that i'm back running um to show you my daughter's running as well um yeah and then going forward into some future episodes um really looking forward to um share my experiences with you okay take care Hi guys, uh, been a while since I've done this, but um, it is my long run day. Uh, it's very much changed circumstances, so um, I will definitely update during the run and also afterwards as well. Thank you. Hi guys, uh, part two of today. So I've been running for half an hour, 6k, nice and easy, even though my breathing doesn't suggest it. So I'm talking at the same time. Uh, I haven't done this for a while. It's been quite a uh, change in my life. This is my last time I've done this, which is about, I want to say, eight months ago. Uh, so it's completely changed. Mental health went completely downhill. Pretty much lost everything. 
However, I'm on the rebuild. A lot of things have changed. New job, which is fantastic. Work for Lululemon now, instead of Tesco, which I wish I'd have done that a lot sooner. Massive focus on mental well-being, which is what I need. So I'm in Lululemon kit as well. Yeah, so I thought now's the time to get back into this, back into proper running. And yeah, I'm gonna do another half an hour, then do another update. Part two of my long run, I've done an hour, 12k. Funny enough, I actually feel better now than what I did at 30 minutes. Weird. Anyway, working on a Saturday. I've already done six to eight on the laptop. Saturdays is a great day to get work done because stores are in full trade. I don't do any store visits unless necessary. So it's just catching up on everything. Ready to go into Mondays, well Tuesday this week, it's a bank holiday. Refreshed, ready to go, ready to help stores, ready to help out my partners in SSC. Yeah, so all good. Ready to spend time with some family tonight, tomorrow and Monday. Signing off for now. I've seen about half an hour when I've done this run. Session done, 18 kilometers, hour and a half. Yeah, not bad. I think I'm happy with that. Mojo's back, which is good. Um, just making sure my priorities are in order this time, though. So, yeah, if I miss a session, I miss a session. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, just enjoying things at the moment. Um, right, that'll do me. Back to work. Go on, Scarlett. Go on, go, 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 go. Right, whoa, 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 look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember what I said, every gap? <laughs> Nearly. Well done, sissy. Well done. Down, Scarlet. Jog back, darling. <laughs>